Hi, I'm Robin Higgins, and this is How to Remember the Ion Chart in Chemistry. Okay, so a lot of chemistry teachers or professors will ask their students to memorize some common ions. And there's really no uniform chart or table that all of them use. They kind of have their own favorites. Some will just give them to you on the test. It really depends. So that you'll have to find out what's specific to your class. However, there's a couple of hints that I can show you, but honestly, it's just one of those things where you have to memorize it. So first, if you're just dealing with an atom that's an ion, uh, you can use a periodic table to tell what charge it's going to be. Uh, so remember that the number of valence electrons equals the uh, general charge, or not equals, but you can figure out the general charge for each atom. So for instance, if we go to uh, sodium, which is in this first row, we know it's going to have one valence electron. And because it wants to have a complete octet, it's going to go ahead and usually lose that one electron. So sodium's charge, or anything else in this first row, will be positive one. Um, same thing goes for the second row, second column. Uh, so for instance, magnesium will always be two plus. And on the other side, where it's more electronegative, uh, everything over here in that seventh column is going to have a charge of negative one, so all the halogens. And on and on. Things in the middle, like carbon, are kind of go either way. It depends on what molecule it's in. Uh, so now, for the polyatomic common ions, it really just is memorization. That's all. Get your flashcards out, however you memorize things. Here's a few. You have acetate, um, C2H3, O2 just has a charge of negative one. Um, hydroxide's a great one to learn. Uh, people always test on ammonium, and then usually some kind of combination of sulfates, phosphates, nitrates, etc. will all be tested. Um, so yeah, a career in chemistry is a career in learning how to professionally memorize things, unfortunately. I'm Robin Higgins, and this is How to Remember the Ion Chart in chemistry.